What is going on everybody this is Jay from Maji and Jay today in this video I will be providing another tutorial of my hoverboard that I purchased about two weeks ago from iBaby888 on dhk.com now before you judge it and start commenting on the comment section below just listen to the entire story as to why I have a blue light of death now the term blue light of death was actually made up by me it's because almost every hoverboard out there has a blue LED light and when they remain solid just the way that you see on here without me stepping on it or the sensor detecting your feet let's just call it that way then that means that there is some issues going inside of the hoverboard now these are all made by the same manufacturer I know that a lot of you guys have many doubts the media is telling you one thing and other videos out there are telling you different stories now these are all made by the same manufacturer guys please don't get fooled now the only difference that makes these uh, different from others are the parts provided by other factories yes these factories get parts from other factories I know it sounds very weird but I have confirmed it and I'll be talking about that in just a moment I would also like to mention that this is going to be my last video of 2015 that's because today is December 30th and by the time I complete this video and edit it it's going to be December 31st so yes guys it's going to be my last video and I would like to thank everybody for supporting me thank you for everything that you have done and don't worry by the beginning of January of 2016 I am planning to double my videos now I know that this blue light here can be a little bit frustrating because your hoverboard appears to be functional and of course you want to use it it's a very cool toy and you may think that you will have to either send it back or just get a replacement which it could also be frustrating because if you got this from China with the money that you're going to spend sending it back and the time that it's going to take for them to return it to you it's going to take more than a month but I think I have a solution for you this works for any hoverboard out there regardless of the size of your wheel regardless of the model and regardless of the brand what I got here is a gyro this is the one that I purchased from ebay.com you can find this on DHgate and other vendors out there um, but again I got it from ebay and this is the high quality part I also have here the faulty gyro now these did not come from this scooter it's a long story guys that's why I said that you must watch this video so that you can understand exactly how I got the blue lights I got one exactly the same from my brother but his is gold and uh, after two days of using it he got the blue lights of death so then I said let me go ahead and transfer the parts from my scooter to your scooter so that way you can go back to Kissimmee with a working and functioning scooter and I'll do a video tutorial on how to fix it later on when I get my replacement parts now my original parts the one that his scooter has now are this color is the blue one and the one that came with his scooter were the red ones now at first glance you can notice that they look almost identical with the exception of the color of course but these are actually different first of all notice how the connector here is uh, very nice and professional on the blue board and when you look at the red board it's all with glue on there it looks like hot glue to me also another big difference on these two is going to be the capacitors look at this cylinder right here and compare it with this cylinder they are totally different and this one is also grabbed there with glue so yes guys this one seems uh, very inferior I think that the quality is not the same and also we can see there a vendor name uh, there we have the website and it includes a model number as well it's going to be totally different from this part right here as a matter of fact they are on the opposite side so yes guys these are not made by the same vendor um, it's very weird to say and I know that it might shock you a little bit but both of these came from the same factory uh, now they do have different motherboards and yes guys his broke after two days and mine I've been using it for over two weeks and it was just fine but the reason you see this blue light is because I had the red board inside and I'll be showing you that in just a moment so now with this being said let me go ahead and place the boards aside and I'll be showing you exactly what to do to get it replaced uh, first of all identify which side is the one that you're having issues with in this case both of his broke so I just replaced one of them already you can see that the light is off so yes everything's working fine uh, so the first thing you want to do guys like I said is identify which side it is if it's both then you don't need to worry about it after that you can just go ahead and turn it off I think the power key is somewhere back here there we go so I just turned it off make sure that the light is off as well again you don't want to have this on you may damage other components 
So then after that's completed, go ahead and flip your scooter around and look for all the screws. And it's going to be about nine screws. In this case, we're going to work on my left hand side. So we can see we have uh, one, two, three, four, five screws on this side. And then we have about four screws on the other side. So in total, it's going to be approximately nine. The next thing you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver and this is the only tool that you're going to need to complete the whole thing. It's actually very convenient. So let me go ahead and get started by removing the screws. After removing all eight screws, you're all set to remove the bottom cover likewise and there is going to be a connector for the LED light. Make sure that you unplug it don't pull it too hard you may damage your board there we go it was very simple so now we can set this cover aside and now since i am working on the battery side it's a good idea to always disconnect it you don't want to have any power going through uh, the circuit boards so let me go ahead and get this disconnected there we go so here is the gyroscope that we're going to remove in just a moment let me go ahead and get this set aside so now the next step will be to remove the gyroscope. To do so, just remove these four screws. They are all Phillips. We have two on this side, like I just mentioned, and we have two on the other side, right here. So just make sure that you remove those. Okay, so now after removing those four screws, you are ready to remove the actual gyroscope on here. But first, just go ahead and unplug this uh, connector. Next, you have this other connector. It's a little bit tricky. Just press it from the sides and the top, and then just make sure that you pull it out likewise. And that's pretty much it. Now, you're going to notice that the whole cover is going to come off together with the gyroscope. I would just recommend doing it this way. It's a lot safer. So here we have the two buttons responsible for the movement of the actual scooter. As you guys can tell, that's very cool. And this is the one that makes it hover around. Um, it's very interesting guys, but I just don't like the fact that these are made with different parts and it doesn't matter what brand you're getting. It could be one, let's say IOHawk, and it can have either this board or the other board and that's a little bit worrying because this board is not too good. I know this is going to sound a little bit weird, but make sure that when you guys are purchasing this, uh, try to ask the seller if it's coming from China. Try to ask them what kind of board is inside. They usually have this information. They can ask the factory themselves. If you have a red one or a green one, avoid it. If you have a blue one like this, then that is the good quality one. You guys can notice again that the capacitors are totally different. This one is a little bit thicker. And yes, guys, this one has proven to be of much better quality. This was the one that I had on the scooter originally. I never had any issues. Now my brother has it and he's not getting any issues either. We can also see here the difference in connector. This one is glued on. This one is soldered and also has a nice professional plastic on there. So yes, I have a lot of confidence that this is a much better part. Uh, with this being said, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove these four screws. Again, it is Phillips, so it's very, very convenient. So now with all four screws removed, you can go ahead and drag it to the side until you can actually push it likewise. And that's about it guys. Again, this is the bad one. Now we're going to replace it with the good one. So make sure that this wire is facing the little cut that you're going to see on your plastic. Um, make sure that you don't put this backwards. Otherwise you may cause more issues other than the ones that you already have. Um, also, this needs to be calibrated. I'll be showing you guys exactly how to do it in just a moment But for right now. Let me set this up here uh, Make sure that when you're dragging this don't grab it or push it by the cylinder Otherwise you might desolder it and break it. So there we go Make sure that you align it with all four holes and then screw it back in Okay, so now we have everything assembled on the plastic bracket. We are all set to place it back in Make sure that everything is flushed just the way that you took it out. Make sure that nothing is uh, dented or that nothing is on the way. This is very important. There we go. Now something that I just noticed here, make sure that you press on the buttons. I'm not sure if this is clear enough for you guys. But make sure that you press on these buttons until you see that little plastic sticking out between the two that we have on the board. So you saw that little plastic, make sure that it's in the middle side and it's not on the outer side. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to use it. It's going to malfunction. So just keep that in mind.
there we go and now that everything is in place make sure that you guys test it out and confirm again that the little stick from the button of the actual scooter is in between these two little teeth i'm sorry i'm not the best guy naming parts but you guys get the idea make sure that it is in between and not on the sides um, otherwise it's not going to work so now we are all set to actually connect the wires so the first one we're going to connect is the last one we took out all of them are very um, self-explanatory there we go we got the first one in and now make sure that you plug in the main one very easy there we go so everything looks good so far the next step will be to connect the battery don't forget it guys I did forget it on my first attempt after everything was assembled so I had to take it all back out there we go everything is good to go now so the next step will be to mount the bottom side of the scooter sometimes having the screws already pre-mounted on there it could be a little bit of an inconvenience uh, so just make sure that you guys do it your own way whatever's comfortable for you make sure not to forget to hook up the LED light back on the board there we go and now that we got everything assembled on the hoverboard we are all set to balance the gyros inside to do so make sure that this line is flush with the other line and also make sure that everything is leveled your next step will be to power it on now when you power it on make sure that you hold it for at least uh we'll say three seconds until you hear a beep let's get started there we go so after this is completed you want to go ahead and turn it off now let's go ahead and turn it back on and that's it now when we flip it to the other side the light already disappeared which is definitely a good indication guys this is so amazing let me go ahead and press on it there you see that actually is moving let me try it on the other side which was broken as well we can see that everything is functioning well now guys like i said it's a very easy tutorial to follow all you need is a phillips screwdriver and of course ordering the parts i paid uh, 65 for the pair and it's recommended that you guys get two because you never know what you might find inside um, also sometimes when one goes bad the other one follows and that's exactly what my brother experienced at first the i think it was the right side went out uh, he kept playing with it and using it a little bit until the other side also broke so make sure that you guys get the pair i got them for 65 dollars but you can get them directly either from china or other sellers out there that have it for a little bit cheaper i think they have it for about 45 us dollars for the pair definitely worth it because we know that the hoverboard itself they go for 350 and up so yes guys it's a very very good fix and i think it's very inexpensive in my opinion you can do it yourself rather than taking it to somebody that's going to charge you at least a hundred dollars so that's it for the video again i want to thank each and one of you for making 2015 such a successful year i do appreciate it guys let's make 2016 even better and like always if you have any questions please comment below like the video subscribe for more thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next one